Howdy guys and welcome back. This time we prepared something new for you. So this time we're going to be talking about the different funding programs of my Forex funds and diving a little bit deeper into them in specific. Now my Forex funds, they are one of the more established and popular prop trading firms out there. We've mentioned them plenty of times on the channel. But we're going to dive in a bit deeper so that if they are the viable option for you, you know more about the funding programs. When we do comparison videos and even review videos, what we like to cover is sort of the main parts without diving too deep into the intricacies because it would be a very long video. But this one is all about getting into those intricacies so you can see the funding programs and if it's going to be suitable for you. So as we already know, my Forex funds, they offer three funding programs. They have the rapid, evaluation and accelerated programs. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on the evaluation funding program. So let's see what this one is all about. My Forex Funds Evaluation Program account aims to identify serious and talented traders who are then rewarded for their consistency in the two-phase evaluation period. Now, these evaluation program accounts allow you to trade Forex pairs, commodities, indices, and cryptocurrencies with a one to 100 capped leverage. My Forex Funds, they allow traders to choose from seven different evaluation program accounts. So you can choose between the 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, and $200,000 accounts, and for the limited time, the $300,000 account that all have the exact same conditions through the two evaluation phases. That being said, let's just check what the evaluation stages actually require us to achieve. So let's start with the first phase. Evaluation phase one requires a trader to reach a profit target of 8% while not surpassing their 5% maximum daily loss or 12% maximum loss rules. You are required to hit your profit target in 30 calendar days from the day you place your first position on your evaluation account. You are also required to trade a minimum of five trading days in order to proceed to phase two. Evaluation phase two, on the other hand, requires a trader to reach a profit target of 5% while not surpassing their 5% maximum daily loss or 12% maximum loss rules. You are required to hit your profit target in 60 calendar days from the day that you place your first position on your evaluation account. You are also required to trade a minimum of five trading days in order to proceed to a funded account. After completing phase two, you are also awarded 2% of the profit made in phase one of the evaluation. Now, by completing both evaluation phases, you are awarded a funded account where you have no profit targets. You're only required to respect the 5% maximum daily loss and 12% maximum loss rules. Now, your first payout is 30 calendar days from the day you place your first position on your funded account. In this time period, you are required to trade a minimum of 10 calendar days. Your first payout consists of 75% of the profit made on the funded account with an addition of 4% profit made in phase two evaluation and a 112% refund of your initial paid fee. After successfully receiving your first payout, your payouts become bi-weekly. Now your profit split is also increased to 80% in month two and to 85% for month three and onwards. All right, now that we've gone through the evaluation program phases, let's check out the scaling plan. Evaluation program accounts have a scaling plan that requires specific conditions for an individual to become eligible, right? So you're required to reach a profit target of 10% or more within a four month period where two out of the four months were profitable. By meeting all the conditions, your account will receive a balance increase of 30% of the original account balance. Now you can see the example in the spreadsheet. So after the first four months, if you have a $100,000 account, for example, your account balance will increase to $130,000. Now after meeting all the conditions, the following four months, your account balance of $130,000 will increase to $160,000. After an additional four months, your account balance of $160,000 will increase to $190,000 and so on. Now, this scaling plan has no cap, which means that you can continue to scale your account balance up to basically an unlimited capital as long as you are consistent and are continuously meeting all the scaling conditions. If that's not incentive to be consistently profitable, then I really don't know what is. 
So each funding program also has specified rules that every trader is expected to follow. Now this exact program has the following rules. Profit targets are specific percentages of a profit that a trader is required to acquire before they can complete an evaluation phase, withdraw profits, or scale their funded account. Phase one profit target is 8%, while phase two has a profit target of 5%. However, when you do reach funded status, as we mentioned before, there are no profit targets. The next rules that we'll go through are the maximum daily loss and maximum loss limits. So the maximum daily loss is the maximum loss that a trader can reach on a daily basis before the account is violated. All the valuation account sizes have a maximum daily loss of 5%. The maximum loss, on the other hand, is the maximum loss that a trader can reach overall before the account is violated. And all account sizes have a maximum loss of 12%. The next rule that we'll go over, go over rather is the minimum trading days, which is the minimum period that you are required to trade before you can complete an evaluation phase or request a withdrawal. Both phases have a five minimum trading day requirement. That's five days minimum. However, on a funded account, you are required to trade a minimum of 10 trading days before being eligible for a payout. And just to end with the rules of the evaluation program accounts, um, we'll go over the maximum trading day rule, which is the maximum period in which you are required to hit a specific profit target or withdrawal target. Phase one has a maximum of 30 trading days, while phase two has a maximum of a 60 day trading period. All right, now that we've gone through the scaling plan and the rules of my Forex Funds Evaluation Program, we're going to compare it to two other industry-leading prop trading firms' two-step funding programs. Firstly, we're going to compare the program with E8 Funding's two-step evaluation. So these two funding programs are quite similar. Um, we can see that the profit targets of both stages are 8% in phase one and 5% in phase two. In addition, the maximum daily loss limit of both evaluations is also 5%. However, when we look at the maximum loss limit of both funding programs, we can see that the difference is actually quite large. My Forex funds have a maximum loss limit of 12%, while E8 funding has a maximum loss limit of 8%. The only upside to E8 funding is the fact that once funded, you have the chance to scale up your maximum loss limit from 8% up to 14%. So you can increase it by 1% for each successful withdrawal that you receive. But when looking at the minimum trading day requirements, now, my Forex funds has a requirement of five calendar days for each of the two evaluation phases, while E8 funding has absolutely no minimum trading day requirements. So take your pick there. When we look at the maximum trading day periods, both prop trading firms have the same limitations of 30 calendar days in phase one and 60 calendar days in phase two. Another identical feature is the leverage offered since both prop firms are later trade with one to 100 leverage. I mean, just to wrap up this little comparison, we're going to go through the profit splits that we receive with each prop firm uh, and their funding programs based on the profits that we make. Now, my Forex funds, they allow you to earn a 75% profit split for the first month, 80% profit split for the second month, and then from month three onwards, you are awarded an 85% profit split. Very nice. e funding, on the other hand, they have a fixed 80% profit split. For the second comparison, we're going to see what my Forex funds and true Forex funds and their two-step funding programs have in common. So when it comes to profit targets, my Forex funds, they require you to reach 8% profit in phase one and 5% in phase two, while true Forex funds, they have a profit target of 8% in phase one and 4% in phase two. Looking at loss limits, my Forex funds, they have a maximum daily loss of 5% and a maximum loss limit of 12%. True Forex funds, on the other hand, they have a maximum daily loss of also 5% and a lower maximum loss limit of 10%. Regarding trading days or minimum trading days for that matter, it's the same as the previous comparison. My Forex funds, that minimum trading day requirement of five calendar days for each of the evaluation phases, while True Forex funds, they have no minimum trading day requirements. Leverage of 1 to 100 is also exact same for both prop firms. And My Forex funds starts with that 75% and can reach up to 85% in terms of profit splits, while True Forex funds, well, they also, the same as E8 funding, have a fixed 80% profit split. Another thing to consider while comparing my Forex funds to another prop trading firm um, and their two-step evaluation program is that they also reward traders with a refundable fee of 112%, 2% of the profit target of phase one and 4% profit target of phase two as additional bonuses. I really like that part. 
But with all that being said, what do you think about my Forex Funds Valuation Funding Program? Is it something that you would be willing to consider in the future based on the trading objectives that we've presented to you? Please let us know in the comments. We're definitely curious, especially if you've got any feedback or firsthand experience. But if you like what you saw and listened to, we also have a special discount code prepared for you guys so that you can receive your funding program even cheaper. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and come back for more prop firm videos. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.